Hopefully plays here, and as you can see, we have a cute little albino gecko and a temporary guest. Ella. Hi. You are not allowed to disclose my name. It's only the other way around. Pop Floyd. Yes, that is what you refer to me as. Yes. My real name shall remain concealed. If I say your real name, we have to edit those parts out. Yes. So here's the leopard gecko. Uh, this is a simple baby albino leopard gecko. At no extra charge, they just happen to have one and decided, hey, let's get it. So, it's not that it's not any more expensive than the others. So they haven't been eating their yeah. mealworms a lot. So we've been, been feeding them wax, wax worms. worms. Which you can take a wax unhealthy. worm and a mealworm out, but let's not actually bother feeding them since at the moment neither of them seems to want to eat. We have two leopard geckos. We tried feeding the other one in there, although he won't eat, so we put him back in there. Same with this one. So, because they're not eating the mealworms at all. We're feeding them wax worms, but But we also... can't keep feeding them wax worms, because that's like treats, and they can't so have just the only treats. Yeah. Hi. Yes. And, <laughs> so because we can't just keep feeding them wax worms... <laughs> Yes, because we can't just keep feeding them wax worms, we have, we now have our own little cricket enclosure thing. We have our own crickets that we are going to breed once they get big to adults, although no, we're going I to feed really the babies. I really never considered them friends, both of them. I mean, they, they seem to stick together. They'll stay in the same hides as each other and everything. What are you... <laughs> They like climbing. They can climb on anything. They can stay upside down. They could. Yes. But they can't. If they want to, they could. Yes. They could very easily, in fact. So, I love them. Ella, yes? would you set that one down and take out a single mealworm and a single wax worm All to right. show the viewers of the lovely world? The All lovely, right, lovely so. world. That's the mealworms. There's so, more mealworms than there are wax worms, but the wax worm thing is bigger than the mealworm. So, so that's, that's a mealworm. A mealworm. And this it's about a small one. That's about the size they would eat. Is a. <sighs> He's going over. He's going over to this. You can't. This is a yes. wax worm. So it's a big difference. Yes, the Not wax really worms are much fatty and they. Like the wax worms a lot, but for some reason they don't want to bother eating anything right now. They probably because I already fed them each this morning. Uh, so, Ella, don't just ignore them. We need to put the stuff away. Yes, right. The mealworm and the mealworm and the wax worm and the wax worm. You guys. Ah, uh, he's going in your pants. Yeah, that's fine. Just let him cuddle up in there. I don't. I don't care. There's a lot of mealworms. Yes, because there needs to be. That's what their main source of food is supposed to be, mealworms and crickets. So, yeah. Here, Ella, do me a favor. Go put those up on the shelf. All right. Oh, these two guys are just absolutely friggin' ad Yeah, friggin' adorable. All right, we're going to set them in their enclosure. Here, you them. can... Them. Those are them. Yes, them. There's two. So, we set, them. we set this up today. Yes, we did. This is their little enclosure. I'm going to get some of that brightness down. They've explored it a little bit. They've already been in that tank. We just had to change their enclosure out from the previous snake enclosure because off-camera unfortunate events resulted in the loss of our snake. Let me tell you, ringnecks do tend to regurgitate their food, and sometimes um, they don't, don't exactly survive. Can you can you Choking. Uh, speak <clears throat> English, please? It tried to cough up its worm and choked. Thank you. Yes. Found out after looking it up, sometimes they do cough their stuff up, and the smaller ones can't cough it up all the way, so they end up choking. <laughs> Imagine. Yep, they're... Trying to climb under there. We have that wire leads into a heating pad. It's actually fairly warm. That so we have their little warmed rock underneath there for them to crawl into when they want to be warm. 
and that little thing we're My gonna leg put. Is so we're gonna put some, uh, just a bit of. Oh, and this is the log. Something. We just yeah. set it out to dry yeah. because we had to stick this. Yeah, that's we had to glue that. It's glue starting it. to dry because now it's. Oh dang, you ruined it, Ella. You, <laughs> you dang ruined it. Now we need to redo. Put it back. Put it back. Okay. Put it back. And do not touch that log again, or else the glue's gonna dry up and it's gonna be terrible. There. No, not, not that way, you, you imbecile. <laughs> yes? They're feeding mealworms. What? Wash your hands really, really good. All right. Absolute. There we go. So, and underneath, so because we can't just keep feeding them wax worms, we're only feeding them that because they won't eat their mealworms, we got crickets. And hopefully they'll start eating those crickets once we actually feed them. Now, you Where don't see any right them? now, because they all went into hiding, but I will assure you there is dozens upon dozens upon dozens of crickets. I see one in the back. Just crawling around. So, oh, they're in there if I were to... That. No, it won't focus in. If I were to pick this thing up... And show you what the underside looked like. You would see there's actually quite a few crickets. That won't. You can't see them clearly, but if you could see clearly, you would see there's a ton in the little dark spaces. Loads and loads. And now, because I've been shaking them around... No, actually, let me just do that. They're starting to come out. But there are dozens upon dozens of small baby crickets. Which, the ones that we won't end up feeding to them, that make it to adulthood, we're not going to feed to them. Because, one, they grow much faster than the leopard geckos, so they'll be too big for the leopard geckos to eat. And, two, because we need to breed them. So we don't have to go to the store and buy more. There's their little food. Uh, Fluker's orange cubes. It's actually pretty handy. It provides water and food. Because those are actually very moist. Moist. So yeah, they eat that. And then that hydrates them. And it also feeds them. There's another thing we could buy that gut loads them. But. Yeah, that's about it. Just the new cricket. Or freaking cricket. New leopard geckos, baby. I don't know where the pink one went. Probably went inside the rock. Yeah, I, I can't tell where the pink one went. The albino. Probably under that rock, but... We're gonna add more stuff to this to keep them stimulated. This is just basic setup. More grass, but we can't actually put that in there. That's, that's plastic grass, but there's no room for it anyways. And we're, well, yeah, I suppose that's it. I'll update you guys, keep you posted on anything new that happens. Although not much new is probably going to happen anytime soon, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Let's just leave it there. Hopefully Blaze, signing out. <laughs>